Once a K-pop icon, Yoo Seung-jun, also known as Steve Yu, will be able to enter South Korea again. Seoul High Court on Friday ruled that the Los Angeles Consulate General cancel its denial to issue a visa to Yu, according the top court's ruling. He was charged and deported for evading South Korean mandatory military service by choosing to become a U.S. citizen. Attempts to avoid conscription are strongly criticized in South Korea to such an extent that Yu has never been able to enter South Korea for 17 years except once in 2003 for the funeral of his fiancé's father. In October 2015, the singer petitioned the Korean court to reverse the LA Consulate General's decision not to issue him an F4 visa. While the lower and appeals courts ruled against Yu, the Supreme Court sided with Yu on the grounds that the consulate had not sufficiently exercised its discretionary power. In July 2019, South Korea's highest court ruled the LA Consulate General's visa rejection of former K-pop singer Yu as unlawful. The Supreme Court ruled that the consulate's decision rested solely on the Justice Ministry's ban on Yu. The highest court said the consulate had not looked into the reason behind the Justice Ministry's decision, and it turned the case back over to the Seoul High Court. Yu is a controversial figure due to accusations of draft dodging and is not well received by Korea. He debuted as a singer in South Korea in 1997. He gained great popularity with the song Kawi, known as the Korean word for scissors in his first album, West Side. Although this Korean-American singer became one of South Korea's most popular K-pop singers, his singing career abruptly ended in 2002 when he chose to become a U.S. citizen. Today's Seoul High Court ruling opened an opportunity for Yu to re-enter South Korea for the first time in more than 16 years. But the Korean government and public opinion reportedly remain against Yu's return. This was Sumi Yu from Korea Now.